Sand Fictist, Theoctistes, Virgin, Solitarius, 873, Island of Peros. Whilst on the way to the Holy Land, I saw the life of this Holy Virgin, hitherto perfectly unknown to me. She belonged to the Isle of Lesbos. Before the city of her birth arose a chapel of the Mother of God in which was a statue of Mary without the infant Jesus. It had been chiseled from her portrait by Saint Luke. The sculptor was a holy confessor of the faith belonging to Jerusalem, who afterward lost both his arms and legs in one of the persecutions. Around the chapel were cells in which dwelt pious women who followed a rule founded on the life of Mary and the holy women at Ephesus. They had erected on the mountain a way of the cross, like that planned by Mary at Ephesus. They reared and instructed little girls and, as their rule ordained, examined their inclinations and dispositions, in order to choose for them a state of life. Theoctista had been with them from childhood and her only desire was to remain with them. Her parents were dead. The chapel and convent being destroyed in war. Theoctista entered another community on the same island. The religious dwelt in caves on a mountain under the rule of the holy woman who, in consequence of a vision, recognized the chain of St. Peter. But I have forgotten her name. Here Theoctista remained until her twenty-fifth year, when she went to visit her sister who lived at a distance. But the ship on which she was fell into the hands of Arab pirates when sailing from the Isle of Crete, and the whole crew was dragged into captivity. The pirates landed on the Isle of Peros, which contained many marble quarries. Whilst they were disputing over the ransom for their captives, Theoctista made her escape and hid in the quarries. Here she lived as a hermitess for fifteen years without human aid, until discovered one day by a hunter. She related to him her history and implored him to return with the Holy Eucharist in a pyx. This was permitted to lakes at that time, as the Christians were often scattered and priests were few. At the end of a year, he returned with the blessed sacrament which she received as viaticum. She died the same day. The hunter buried her, after first removing one of her hands and a piece of her clothing which he carried away with him. Through that blessed hand he happily accomplished his voyage home, in spite of the imminent risks he ran from pirates. When he related the affair to his bishop, the latter reproached him for not having brought away the whole body of the saint. Amen.